Transaction Manager. The following video was created for use with the Commander Site Controller and Ruby CI. The Transaction Manager program is used to view and archive transaction logs. To begin, log into Transaction Manager with an SMS user who has access to the program. Three menu options are available once logged into Transaction Manager Session, Tools, and Help. Session allows the user to log off and log on and exit the program. The Help menu provides documentation about the program and information about the application and version. Within the Tools menu, there are archive functions. Archiving new transaction will download transaction logs that have occurred since the last archiving was completed to the local PC. Archive All Transactions will download all transaction logs, whether they were previously archived or not. The directory in which the logs are backed up is controlled in the Options menu. There is also a setting that can be enabled to archive new transactions at login, so that whenever a user logs into Transaction Manager, the program will automatically start the archive process. Transaction Viewer allows you to retrieve specific transactions and view the details of each transaction. When Transaction Viewer opens, it pulls up transactions from the current shift. To change the log that it is viewing, go to File and either select Open Local T-Log to open an archived transaction log, or select Open Site T-Log to open transaction logs that are stored on the Commander or Ruby CI. Select the period report from the list that you wish to view, and then select Open. Once the log is opened, to produce a list of transactions that meet your criteria, you can select a transaction type. For sales-related transactions, you can further refine your search by selecting criteria and or using the extended criteria and filter options. To find the information, either search or filter can be used. Search will search through the list and highlight each of the items that are found. Filter will only display the results in the criteria set. The list can be sorted by clicking on the headers of each column. To view more information about the line, select the line that you wish to view, and then press the View Details button. The detailed view can be printed from the local PC by right-clicking on the window and selecting Print. Transaction Manager allows you to view all transactions, only monetary transactions, or only non-monetary transactions. When the window first opens up, just like Transaction Viewer, it opens up to the current shift report. To view a different period report log, go to File and then either select Open Local T-Log or Open Site T-Log. Transactions can be sorted according to transaction number, type, day and shift, date and time, or transaction data. Double-clicking on the transaction information will open up a detailed view. For more information about the program, refer to the Help and Documentation section. Thanks for watching Verifone's training on Transaction Manager. Be sure to check out our other informational training videos on Verifone's YouTube training channel.